Do you think there's a difference between what women say that they want in a relationship and what they actually respond to? Uh, I'll answer this one. <laughs> this is actually one of the reasons why so many men end up miserable. The reason is because men actually listen to what women say and not to what they do. Guys, people can say whatever they want. Actions speak louder than words. So... Just look for the actions and you'll know exactly what the girl thinks. Look at the guys that she actually goes for and not who she says she wants. And you'll know exactly uh, the type of things that men want. Sorry, uh, that, that women want. Yeah. I so like then can you trust things. a woman's dating advice? No. <laughs> you literally can't. Uh, I mean, the, the idea is that... Um, you ask the fisherman and not the fish for seduction advice, right? The fish has no idea how it how it got pulled out of the ocean. Uh, it just thinks it just happened, right? So fish have no idea how to tell you um, how to seduce them. So you should never ask them. Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios here for another reaction video. If you're new to the channel, like in the videos, please remember to hit the sub and the bell for notifications. Also like and comment on the channel. If you would like me to comment on any video, compilation, maybe a Reddit post, send it to the Helios blog at gmail.com. All right, let's continue. You said no, the lie detector test determined. That was a lie. I can't trust women at all. <laughs> I'm fucking... What, what advice would you give to the men who don't trust women? All right, so men that don't trust women, keep doing it. Don't fucking trust them. I, I <laughs> found a, a woman right now, and the 22 years I've been on the planet, I haven't found a woman that I trust, and that's just because you can't trust any of them. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't explain why women are not trustworthy, right? Um, the reason why women are not trustworthy, especially, uh, you know, for young men, um, is because uh, they're more interested in flitting from flower to flower and sleeping with multiple dudes than, than uh, with committing to one guy. And th they're only interested in actual commitment once they hit the epiphany phase, when they realize that they can't attract the attention that they used to, right? And they want a useful idiot after that. You can't. They're going to fucking... You go to the military, you come back, you don't have shit, you get married... You divorce, she takes everything. <laughs> How about this question? What's the incentive for a man to get married? The incentive for a man to get married. Um, like, I guess the point of getting married is, you know, you're committing yourself to someone who you, you want to die with and grow with. You don't want to see anyone else. You're not looking for that in anyone else. Is there anything that a married couple can do that an unmarried couple can't do? Indeed. And that's the reason why so many men are not getting married today it's because uh the juice isn't worth the squeeze right and and basically uh women are giving away themselves uh so easily that there's no reason to commit right um you can just uh have a girl who's your girlfriend and do exactly what you would do in a marriage but if she's not living with you she doesn't uh, get entitled to half your stuff so there you go no I feel like you can do the same thing being married or not. I feel like being married, though, it's more of like you, you want to show the world, you know, like this is my wife. You know? Right. But if you want to show the world, then that's not really for your benefit. That's actually for her benefit. Right. Uh, the, the interviewer, what he's getting at is that marriage has basically no positive um result for men i guess other than children right everything else um like favors women right they get half your stuff if you divorce they get to keep the children um they get to keep the house etc so really getting married doesn't really do anything for you as a, as a man and in fact neither does cohabitation which is why i don't recommend either of them you know, you, you're more, you know, just you're locked to her. You don't want to fuck around on the side. There's no more Vegas. There's no more coming here, you know, looking for hoes on the street. None of that. It's all cut out. Why is it that in the age of independent women, a man's value is often determined by what he provides? Mm. I would say because 
women look at a man that got a lot of money as a respect factor. They they base their level of respect off the money. I feel that's that's exactly right. Um, so for women, love is respect. So if she doesn't respect you, she doesn't love you. And uh, basically, money is one of the ways that a man can earn respect between men. It's actually one of the ways that men compete with each other. So women are hypergamous. So they want superior men. So a man with a lot of money is clearly a winner, a man who has beaten many other men in the ability to make money. And so that's why she wants him. Um, and then, you know, many women, what they'll do is they'll treat men like purses, right? They'll say, look at how nice my purse is compared to yours, you know, and stuff like that. So... Okay, but does that mean that guys who don't have a lot of money are, are not worthy of respect? To them, yes. Indeed, that's, that's exactly right. Sadly, like, man will respect another man, even if he's maybe not the richest, if he has something to provide. But for women, it's, it's not the case, right? If he's not, you know, top 10% in terms of height, looks, and money, you know, two of those three many women are just not going to take a man seriously and that's especially true in 2022 dating in in the in the modern world it's especially true <laughs> to me any man whether he got money or not deserves it especially if he to respect is a two-way street it must be given in order to get got most men don't have money status they don't have none of that shit none of them niggas have that like the uh, a small percentage of them do, but most of these niggas out here boosy. We just gonna okay. Do you think it's true that women would rather be the emperor's mistress than the peasant's wife? Yes, that's what absolutely. That's exactly what the modern world is, right? 2022 dating is literally women saying we would rather be the emperor's mistress than the peasant's wife. That's exactly what they're saying, right? Like m many, many modern women what they're doing is they go on like tinder and then a hundred women go with the same guy and then they all complain about him but i mean their actions say everything that needs to be said they they say that the guy is the one that they have chosen right so they can complain until they're blue in the face they still slept with him they still gave him the benefit that only a wife in you know like a hundred years ago only a wife would give to uh to a man it's 100 they gonna go after the, the winners who taking dubs. They they rather you feel me. They'll rather be under that nigga than a you feel me a nigga that's a loser. They don't want to be with no. Come on, cause nobody you as a man who you, would you want to be with a loser like no. female? No. Well, we'll put it this way, right? How about this one? Huh? <laughs> is it is it is it why is it that a woman is quick to reject a man that lives with his mom, but quick to accept a man that lives with his wife? Because the man that's with his wife has something established. At least the man with his, that's living with his mom is not doing nothing for himself. We got to keep it 100 out here as men. Literally. As a man, you are respected for what you can provide. As a man, you're respected for what you bring to the table. Uh, if you as a man have nothing going on, then of course you're not going to be very attractive, very valuable in women's eyes. And so not many women are going to pick you. Um, that's just how it goes. Um, and uh, if a guy, sorry, if, if a girl sees a guy and he's married, right, and he has a wife, the implication is that some other girl chose him. So it means he must have something going for him that's attractive. And so she's going to follow the herd and she's going to go for him as well. <clears throat> we can't blame the woman. We got to keep it 100 within ourselves. You still living with moms like, Nikki, what, what you doing? You feel me? You got to get your own shit. Can you name something a man does that he thinks is a turn on but is really a turn off? Um, <clears throat> yeah, when they flex their money and they flex things that aren't theirs and we know that it's not theirs. It's just it, everything is not about money. I don't care about your money. I don't want. Uh huh. Everything is not about money. She says with uh, five rings on, six chains, hair that's clearly done at a fancy salon, lots of makeup, uh, nice clothes, but it's not about money. That's ridiculous. Again. Listen to the words and not to the actions, guys. Um, but she said, what women find unattractive is when a man flexes his money, but it's actually not his, when he's faking it, right? But the implication there is that she does find money attractive. She just doesn't find it attractive when the money isn't actually real, when it's just a ruse uh, used in order to get laid. Um, which, I mean, I'm inclined to agree with. I want to see that you live in a house at the pool, but in reality, you really live in an apartment. 
Okay. I don't know. And lastly, um, can you think of something that a woman does that she thinks is a turn on but is really a turn off? The little fucking, the fucking face. The, what is it? The goofy face? Uh, the duck face? The duck face selfie? 100% worst thing you can do? One thing it's not the worst thing you can do. It's just, it's, it's neutral, I would say. It, it doesn't really change anything, right? The only thing it shows is that the girl is following trends, right? But women are herd animals, right? They'll just do whatever the, the other girls are doing. So if the girls, the other girls are doing something stupid, then this girl is also doing something stupid. But that she would do a duck face implies that her friends are probably not the smartest, which implies that she might go and cheat on you, right? Uh, basically, you need to vet not only your girl, but you need to make sure that she doesn't have single female friends that are going to go and corrupt her. Her friends can have boyfriends, you know, and, and uh, as long as they're not degenerates, right? Um, that's a very important thing. So the only thing that the duck face shows, it's not, the, it's not like a super unattractive thing. It just shows that women follow trends, right? The thing I don't understand about women is this, that you can be there in every single way for them that you can possibly give you know you might be able to buy them things you might be able to speak to them nice spend quality time but it never makes them happy they all no indeed and here's the reason why it's because women's relationships are not about love women's relationships are about power right so if you are doing everything for her but she's not doing everything for you what it implies is that you are signaling that she is above you you're saying that she is more attractive than you in, uh, in your eyes. And because you're signaling that she is more attractive than you, she feels that she's superior to you. And if she feels she's superior to you, she's not attracted to you. That is hypergamy. So that's why doing everything for a girl will never make her happy because it actually goes against her biological nature. And that's why one of my rules, and I think one of the great rules of thumb, is never do everything that a girl wants. Never give her everything she wants. She wants you to text all the time? Don't. She wants you to buy things all the time? Don't. She wants you to kiss her ass and do whatever she wants? Don't. Because if you ever do, um, she will find, she will think that she's more attractive than you, that she's more valuable than you. She'll think that she has power over you. And once she does, she's going to keep you as a resource extraction tool and go and sleep with another guy. So um, you, you can't be doing stuff like that. Um, also, many women will try to get you to, you know, ditch your friends, ditch your hobbies, spend more time with them. You need to remain exactly the man you were at the beginning of the relationship. And the instant that you don't, she'll replace you with you. Keep that in mind. Always dig deeper and they always need more. I've never met a woman that's just like, I like who you for what you give me. And I don't want you to, you know, I understand you lack in some things. You know, I feel like women can't be to understanding that they need and need and need more than what you can give sometimes. Not sometimes, it's all the time. Um, because men create value and women extract value, right? That's just how it is. Um, the reason why women are value extractors like that is because women's biological imperative is to have your, have your child, right? But in order to do that, she needs resources. So it has been biologically selected for, for her to uh, extract as many resources and all of his strategies to be there in order to uh, convince you to position you in in such a way as to have your value extracted why will a woman wear a fake wedding ring to repel men but a man will wear a fake wedding ring to attract women because women want a man that's like they, they, yeah they want a man that's already got a woman or they want a man that's that that can get women they don't want to be like we said they don't want to be with no loser ass nigga that's exactly right so women don't want to be with a guy it's it's like an interview right uh you know when you're applying for jobs where they say uh entry level position three years of experience required right that's exactly what women are like it's like if you're not in the game then they don't want you right uh 
because women are hypergamous. They want men that are winners. So if you've never had any past partners, it means you're not a winner. It means you're a loser. So why would a woman want you? There's clearly something repulsive about you. Because women think as the herd thinks. So if if 100 women have selected you, then she will want to be the 101st because clearly they've selected you for a reason. Okay, now, why do women wear a wedding ring to repulse men? The reason is because no man wants a girl that other men have had. Um, basically, it's like uh, Kevin Samuels says, rest in peace, by the way. Uh, he says, uh, what, you know, when he was interviewing the girls, he would say, what can you provide the man that you haven't given to, to another man? So if she's married to a man and she has children with him and whatever, there is nothing she can now provide you that she hasn't given another man, which means you will never be special to her. You will never be anything new to her. And that is actually a very important thing. Uh, psychologically for men, we're territorial, so we don't want uh, a woman who's already been claimed by another man. Come on, who would want to be? You don't want to be with no woman like that. Okay. Do you find it hypocritical when parents advise their sons to avoid gold diggers while also advising their daughters to find a man who will take care of them? Yes, yes, you gotta keep it 100 on both sides and I feel like a lot of parents don't do that. And I feel like, okay, and that's another thing I learned, I feel like a lot of moms are teaching their sons the wrong thing like- Oh yeah, this is absolutely true. That's absolutely true, actually, it's not just mothers teaching sons the wrong thing. It's every single woman you've ever met as, um, as a gestalt concept. Um, they are teaching uh, men wrong. And the reason is because they want to promote the matriarchy. They want to promote female power, right? And so what they do is they teach men anti-game on purpose. They teach men uh, that women are sugar spice and everything nice. They treat, uh, they teach men to be nice to girls, to buy them things, to, to be friends first. They teach them to, uh, you know, uh, marry them without vetting them and, um, not judge. Um, and you would be very lucky if you were to have a mother that would actually care about you, uh, and t tell you the truth. But most of the time, uh, they won't because, uh, women are on team woman, even your mom, even your sister. So all of the advice that they give is actually for the benefit of the matriarchy and not for you. They're not teaching their sons like what attracts women at the end of the day. They're teaching them to be the good guy and the nice Literally. guy. And the nice guys don't get shit. The nice guys don't finish the race. They finish last. That's, That's exactly right. So, uh, and here's, the, here's why they do this. Oh, I, I forgot about this. this. It's literally a biological concept. It's called natural selection. So uh, women naturally select men so she is teaching you this in an attempt to weed you out of the human race and if you ignore the advice if you learn the truth and if you actually apply the truth then you gain the benefit of being able to reproduce so literally women are teaching you the wrong thing in order to see if you are actually biologically valuable if you were biologically valuable, you wouldn't listen. Do you see what I'm saying? Only a loser would listen to bad advice. They're giving you bad advice on purpose to see if you are a genetic winner or a genetic loser. And if you listen, you're a genetic loser. So, so is a single mother more likely to raise an alpha or a beta male? <laughs> beta. <laughs> beta. <laughs> Uh, a single mother is absolutely more likely to raise a beta male. Absolutely more likely. And that's doubtless. Um, and that's actually the reason why in certain communities, uh, why there are so many men that have no idea what they're doing. It's because uh, they're raised wrong, right? And as society continues to crumble, what's going to happen is the men are, continue, are going to continue to become weaker and weaker. And so they'll get outcompeted by men who are not as weak. All right, uh, we're going to move on to a Reddit post here. Let me find a good one. What the? Okay. Okay. 
My, here we go. My wife, 26, lied to me, 28, without shame. I had a huge fight with my wife, and it seems like it can be a real deal breaker for me. We've been married for two years now, and every now and then there have been some small lies that everyone can look past. And I trusted my wife until now. Guys, if your girl is going to lie to you small, she'll also lie to you big. The point is that women, they push on your boundaries, right? If you allow the boundaries to, to go at the beginning, they'll get pushed more and more and more until this uh, sort of thing happens. So now my wife is uh, going something like middle, uh, yeah, okay, midlife crisis, sure, where she acts and does things like she's a teenager, mostly because of a new coworker uh, who's only 18 and seems like a bad influence. But I didn't say anything. I received an email from a bank that there's a big debt on one of the credit cards and my wife's name is on it. The, ne the next day I asked her if she's having financial problems and does she need help. She lied to my face, but I already knew. Later in the day, I found out all the debt comes from clothing and her account is blocked. So I asked her again and she swore on our child's life that she does not have any debt. 20 minutes later, she got a text from the said coworker, And I saw and she asked my wife if her card is unblocked and did she manage to pay since they got a paycheck for that day. That was the point when I said to my wife uh, and I showed her the email. And how could she lie to my face without shame? So here's the thing, guys. Uh, women, when they marry you, they think they have you, and then they start to believe that they can do whatever behavior they want, right? And uh, this is just an example, right? So the wife believes that she can do whatever she wants, uh, and she's safe no matter what. And so with that safety net, she's going to take risks. She's going to push on the frame of the relationship. And basically, the next frame that she's going to push on is cheating, for sure. Because debt like this is serious, right? So if you as a man, if you don't um, push back against this, then uh, she's going to push in other areas harder. She started to be aggressive and shout that it's her money. Right, so in, in uh, marriages, the way that women work is your money is our money and my money is my money. So I can spend my money however I want and she has no... no um, regard for you and this is just how women are right this is not something you can remove from their nature women are value extractors so she's not going to feel like she owes you any of her money she's right but i also explained that when she's blocked uh that all the bills food and household items are on me and that i would understand but that her lie to my face is the problem and she swear on her child's life uh, she swore on her child's life and that's an even bigger issue and she told that young girl, but not me, her husband. But I mean, it goes to show, right, uh, how much loyalty this, this uh, lady has to her husband. In my mind, the way she lied was too good. Like no guilt or second thoughts. If she lied about this so easily, I can't imagine what else I don't know. Yes, indeed. Uh, as I said, if you allow her to get away with this, the push, the next push that's going to come is cheating. Again, this is just a test. She's trying to see if she can get away with whatever she wants. We don't talk and she just does not even try to make things right. Like she does not care. Uh, and she's telling me how I overreact. Gaslighting. I'm on the edge and uh, thinking of calling my lawyer. Uh, update. My wife put up a stubborn and proud stand not wanting to admit she was wrong. Even uh, didn't talk to me at all and wanted me to make the first move. Since my trust is broken and she does not want to do anything about it after so long and dealing with lots of her BS, I'm done and I'm calling my lawyer. So guys, I mean, if a girl is, if she believes that she is able to get away with such an action, it means that the relationship is already over. She doesn't respect you, right? So there's nothing you can really do at this point. You have to, you have to cut the relationship. All right, uh, let's see what the comments say. Top comment. Don't wait, call the lawyer today, this only gets worse. Smart move, changing your bank details. Yes, indeed. Again, if you allow this to continue, it's just going to get worse. That she feels that she can get away with this uh, terrible behavior implies that it's going to get worse. And she's going to 100% cheat if she hasn't already. Uh... The debt, presumably massive, comes from clothing, which you didn't notice any new clothes in your home. That's weird. Did she actually spend her money on a coworker, which is more in the loop than you are? What else is going on? Does she spend a lot of unaccountable time away from home? 
Also, there's no middle age crisis at 26. It's just obsessive spending with or without reason. She does not admit any guilt, but is lying through her teeth. Then you have a massive problem. Stubbornness isn't cover for shame. It's refusal to admit guilt, which won't change by itself. Right. I mean, there might be some ulterior motive. Maybe she's attracted to the female coworker. Who knows? Like, it's just a total disaster. Okay, guys. I think we're going to end the video here. Uh, I totally forgot to remind you. If you agree or disagree with any of the points that I make in my video, please leave a comment. That's what the comment section is for. Again, if you're liking the videos, new to the channel, please leave a sub. Uh, hit all for notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to do all of the following. Like the video for the algorithm. Comment on the video. I respond to all comments and I'll give you a heart. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can see my content on your feed. Check out all of my content on other platforms. It spreads the reach of the channel. YouTube, bit.ly slash Helios YouTube. Rumble, bit.ly slash Helios Rumble. My blog is realheliosblog.com. My podcast, bit.ly slash Helios Podcast. My Patreon, patreon.com slash the Helios blog. You can also support the show at bit.ly slash Helios donations and buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. Thank you so much for all of your support.